Jarvis. Good morning, sir. Sort of. Welcome back, sir. Yo, what's up, guys? So welcome back to another episode of VFX in Blender tutorial series. So in this episode, we're gonna create this uh, Ironman suit of VFX. So let's begin. And this this is the footage I'm gonna be using. This is the image sequence I've already rendered in via After Effects in PNG sequence, something like this. So this is the footage I'm gonna be using in my upcoming short film Indian Avengers. Uh, it's kind of like a series so in the first episode I'm gonna be using this footage so make sure to subscribe I'll see you there alright guys so after we j uh, jump into the blender 4.0 I'll just delete this I don't need the light for now and uh, if you want to uh, watch this or uh, if you want this tutorial in Hindi you can click on the i button you can check out the Hindi version also so I'm gonna be using the uh, plugin called a uh, kin tools something like kin tools uh, face builder and geo tracker so you will get the 15 days trial so the kin tools team provided me the uh, 90 days uh, trial i mean the 90 days license as you can see over here freelancer personal so they provided me after that for the content for making this kind of content so you can just uh, download it I'll put the link in the description you can just grab it from there alright guys so after the software is started so you can just click here after the plugin installation you can just check out here so I'll just go to the geo tracker and click on the geo and click on the clip folder and I'll add the uh, uh, footage PNG sequence link something like this alright guys so click on the reanalyze and boom it will just analyze the footage so after this you can just go back to the face builder click on the create a new head and uh, we can just adjust according to your uh, face you can just match the geometry something so for that we just need to add some images for the reference so i'll just grab from the png sequence just few frames i mean just few uh, just hold uh, control and take three to four three to four or five images something like this and click on the open image and click over here i can just see the uh, geometries there so you can just match it according to your face uh, you can just add facial expression also some you can lock eye blinking neck movement so we don't need that there's no movement of there so i'll just click over here and you can you can just click on the aligned face so it will accord match according to the footage not accurate you can just match it manually something like this just click single click like this and with create a pin and we can match it according to the footage something like this all right guys match it perfectly so that it will track properly with using this you can change the appearance also sizes and all alright guys wireframe color also opacity and all you can adjust it alright guys so I'll just match it like this alright guys so it's done almost so after this you can just uh, click on the exit pin mode and you can see the shape of my face oops something not like this but still okay we just need it for the um, shadow catcher only alright guys so I'll just jump back go back to the Java geo tracker and click over here I mean the v head or you can just click over here and click over here something like this a v head is there so we will just we don't need to track the geometry we will need to uh, we need the camera so i'll just click on the camera and click on start pin mode and we need to we need to match the first frame only so i'll go back to the last frame something like this and click over here center geo and first we'll match the eyes like this point to point we can match it you can just uh, play changes change the appearances something like this you can play with it 
how how will you want to make it work like for you or right, guys match it properly this is the last step after this we can just track all right guys something like this and this almost there okay guys so it's there already done almost done so after this you can just uh, check it's perfectly and i can just click over here track track backward track to start so it will track it something like this perfect and you can see it's tracked almost correctly and if you want you can just uh, make changes if if it's uh, slipping in the in between any frame you can just uh, <coughs> sorry guys something you can adjust it and click on the refine so it will refine it and change the in between frames according to it but it will give some jitters so you need to fix it uh, carefully so in our footage there's no need to make any correction it's perfectly tracked so all everything is done so now we will just export it to the camera so we'll go to the scene and here we'll just take this camera you can just get a link to the null so we don't need it i'll just click on the export uh, as you can see gtmt is there all right guys so everything is done after this you can just click on the exit pin mode so all said you can just hide this we don't need it now and as you can see it's there you can play and you can just see you can just see the geometry is there on stick to the uh, stick your face something like this all right guys so i just had the camera it's annoying like this all right guys so all set and we'll just import the uh, model so i'll just open a i'll just first i'll let me just save this file like this and i'll just open in another for file for our my recent file that same file i'll just import this uh, same uh, uh, iron man helmet and i'll put the link i'll put the 3d model link in the description you can just uh, download it from there so i'll just click ctrl c copy and just fill, put back uh, go back to the old footage i mean the recent file like then ctrl v paste as you can see let me just show you so the model is there something like this so as you can see the helmet is have already animated in the blender only so something like this it will work like this so it needs to be scaled so i'll click over here and press yes and i'll scale it like this and we'll just adjust it according to the model of the helmet i mean the mesh of geometry mesh Alright guys, so it will need to adjust like this. You can adjust it according to any view, whatever you want, top view, front view. Alright guys, you can just adjust it, move a little bit like this. Uh, also, the animation is very simple. You can just do it in Blender itself and this is not a pro that much hard animation all right guys almost match it's something like this as you can see this is how it looks so all done shading i think shading is also done okay like this shading is almost done i think i didn't upload it the shading oh no i think it's there so let's play with these render setting cycles and all i'll just give 100 only or 90 or what. depends on your system so all all done just let's just put the environment i'll just use some hdri hdri so i'll just use some hdri like mm, this one okay guys so all set 
we'll just go back to the render setting motion blur like this film you can just click on the transparent for the environment and all all set and you can adjust according to your footage and you can see the render like this animating like this so i'll just add some sunlight also so shift a light sun i'll just put over here according to your real uh, environment like this and better some changes with the angle and all okay guys so all set so last thing uh, we need some cast shadow i mean the shadow catch object and visibility shadow catcher so i'll just show you something like this as you can see the shadows are coming to your face so it will uh, come according to the geometry you can just adjust it so it won't uh, slip out of the track so you can just adjust it or scale it or whatever you want to do you can play with this geometry and you can see the real shadow is coming of like this something like this all right guys so as you can see shadows are good you can change the shadows uh, whatever you want to do you can play with the shadow settings and all and after this you can just render it <laughs> i think the helmet is a little bit large so i can scale it a little bit like this all right guys so after this you can get your iron man sort of vfx in blender all right so i think that's it for this video i hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe so i'll see you on the next episode all right so peace out